Hi, and welcome to this demo of how Novolaris can be used as a portable serverless engine for Kubernetes. In this demo, we will be showcasing how easy it is to install and use Novolaris on three different Kubernetes clusters. The first case is running Novolaris locally on the Kind cluster, which is Kubernetes cluster running inside Docker on your local machine. This setup is meant to be used for development, so that you can start using Nuvolaris even if you don't have any other Kubernetes cluster to use. Kind Kubernetes cluster is actually installed by Nuvolaris itself using a simple command nuv setup and passing a flag dev cluster. In this case, the installation checks if there is already a local Kind Kubernetes cluster running and if it's not there, installs it automatically making sure that the machine it is running on fulfills necessary prerequisites such as Docker version and memory. After the cluster in Docker is installed, the deployment proceeds with installing all the necessary components needed for Nuvolaris to run, most notably the Nuvolaris operator, a custom resource which is the heart of Nuvolaris. Novolaris itself embeds Apache OpenWhisk as a function execution engine. So after deploying, we can assert that everything is OK by creating and executing a simple JavaScript function called action in OpenWhisk. Next, let's try to create another simple JavaScript action called hi and invoke it. So this simple JavaScript function just echoes a name passed as a parameter. By default, if you don't pass the parameter, it prints out hi stranger. However, if you invoke it passing some name, like Rob in this case, we can see a working example. We can also use curl to invoke action as an endpoint directly, as you can see here. Now, let's see how Novolari supports functions written in Python too. We are creating the same function, this time in Python, registering an action and finally invoking it using nuv-whisk command. The response is exactly the same as in the case of JavaScript, with or without additional parameters. Note that Novolaris recognizes the language of the action and calls the corresponding runtime in the background to execute it. Again, here we see that the action is deployed in local Kubernetes cluster. Now off to the second example. Let's suppose you are using Amazon AKS Kubernetes, so you have set up Amazon Kubernetes cluster. Here we see that we have a cluster named Nuvolaris slash cluster. We would now switch to using this cluster by updating the current Kubernetes context. So, as you can see now, the context is set to our Amazon cluster. We will now repeat exactly the same procedure as in the case of the local cluster. The only difference is that now we are telling Nuvolaris to use Amazon Kubernetes cluster by passing the additional context parameter to set up command. The exact same series of steps repeats. The test action is created and invoked and then we are testing the same JavaScript and Python actions to assert that everything works in Amazon cluster too. And here we are on our third and last case for this demo, installing the Volaris on Linode LKS Kubernetes. Again, we are asserting that we have Linode cluster, setting Kubernetes context to the right cluster, and then just invoking new setup command with uh, specifying a context to point to Linode cluster. So the same series of steps indeed repeats and waiting is the hardest part. But at the end, after we repeat the same steps, it all works as expected. We are able to deploy JavaScript and Python functions. So this demo is really about demonstrating what Nuvolaris is all about, that is making cloud native development really extremely easy on any Kubernetes. Thanks for your attention.